Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to today's report. Well, we are just about two days post-op. Elon Musk, supposed first Neuralink patient, is recovering well. And this is from a story from NPR. Musk ambitious plan to let humans wirelessly connect their brains with phones and other devices has taken a new step. No, not monkeys. We're not talking about chimpanzees. We're talking about humans. Now, this person who is recovering from the first Neuralink surgery, their name has not been released, but they are recovering well, according to Musk, via his Twitter platform. And initial results show promising neuron spike detection. And this is actually referring to the cellular activity between our brains and the nervous system. Recall last May when the Neuralink company, they received the FDA approval for the trial saying that it wanted to enlist people from the ages of 22 and up living with certain medical conditions, uh, quadriplegia due to spinal cord injury or ALS, the disease that robs people of their ability to control their bodies. This surgery, this one-of-a-kind, first-of-a-kind, they say, was performed using a robot. And this is where technology gets very biblical. Neuralink's clinical trial is called PRIME. Now, PRIME is an acronym for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain-Computer Interface. So a robot surgically inserts the wires of the company's implant into a part of the brain related to movement. The device is designed to interpret a person's neural activity so they can operate a computer or a smartphone simply by intending to move. No wires or physical movement are required. This is all telepathic, friends. The procedure employs custom-made microscopic needles. The tip is only 10 to 12 microns in width, only slightly larger than the diameter of a red blood cell. The small size allows threads to be inserted with minimal damage to the brain's cortex. And again, minimal damage, they say. Now, the goal of the prime trial is to place a small cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that involves movement. The implant, this is what it consists of, and we have covered this a few times over the past several months, looking forward to this moment in time, trying to get people prepared that he is going to He's going to do it, and he has done it. This implant includes 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads. The implant is the key hardware component of the trial, but the other two focal points of the trial are the surgical robot and the Neuralink user app, and that connects wirelessly to a computer, again, or any other device. The implant is called the N1 implant, and it's powered by a small battery. It's charged wirelessly from the outside via a compact inductive charger, and that enables easy usage from anywhere. Musk said that the company's implant product would be called telepathy. Wow. <laughs> I'm not making this up. The implant enables control of your phone or your computer by just thinking. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. And just imagine if uh, Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or an auctioneer. That's the goal. That's what Elon Musk said. And he said Neuralink says that it aims to redefine the boundaries of human capability. I think Jesus Christ is the only one who's going to be doing that. There is so much more to this story, friends, but I want to leave it at that for now. Uh, telepathic communications are coming, and I have shared uh, quite a few uh, prophetic dreams about that. The era of the cell phone as we know it will soon be coming to an end. I also shared a prophetic dream that I had back in April of 2019. I was shown that people were tossing to the ground 
their once beloved cell phones because a new technology had emerged. And so it was a technology that changed the way that people communicated forever. People no longer even had to speak with their mouths in that dream. They could telepathically communicate just like in those sci-fi movies. So I want to ask you today, do you guard your heart with all diligence? You better, uh, for out of it, or your mind, for out of it, springs the issues of life. That's in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. And that word guard in the Hebrew, it means to set a watchman. We have to set a watchman over our mind or our heart and guard it with all diligence. Now, the watchman is actually Jesus Christ. He will guard our hearts and our minds if and only if we read and we study and we obey his word. And he doesn't want us, friends, to surgically implant telecommunication devices into our bodies. Now, I have another verse I want to share. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which you are. So all this technology, it's heading in one direction, and it will be geared for one man to promote eventually the son of perdition, the Antichrist, and he wants to get inside of our minds. He wants to take over our thought life. He wants to control us. And the Bible very clearly says he wants to speak blasphemy against God and against his holy people. But for now, now he's in the shadows while his team of scientists and engineers, they are creating the package of all packages. Uh, But for now, they just want you to be addicted to Netflix, video games, uh, all of these very fancy video games, the metaverse and all the benefits that come with this technology. And they're laughing right now. And they want us to say, who needs God when when we have Google? They want us to say, Yah, who? Who is Yah? We don't have to wait on God anymore. That's their goal. So friends, just like the, the tail of the beast is sweeping across the earth, they're soon coming for to North America, and they want to get their hands on our Bibles, too. They have already been banning the Word of God in other countries. I want to encourage you to store up treasure in your heart, friends. The Word of God, the days that are coming are going to be very dark. There will be a famine for the Word of God, so we need to, to store it up. Don't be deceived by the beast and his brain initiative or allow them to surgically implant the Neuralink uh, telepathy implant in you or your friends or family. God will destroy those who defile their temples. So when all these scientific gadgets and cashless pay systems and medical tattoos are all merged together, the perfect package, then I believe you will have the mark of the beast. All right, friends. Well, that wraps it up for today. We pray that you have a very wonderful day. We'll talk to you again real soon.